Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Kashmir Food Fusion. Click on the subscribe button here to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon button to remain updated. Today we are going to show you how to make a vegetarian pizza at home. We have shown you a very easy recipe and you can make a veg pizza at home by following these steps. This recipe is not at all difficult and can be followed by anyone. So let's start with the ingredients first. The ingredients used here in this recipe are all-purpose flour or maida. We have used 250 grams of all-purpose flour or maida. Then we have used dried yeast. We need to activate this yeast and I will show you how it is to be activated later. Then we have used 2 tablespoons of salt. This is for the activation of the yeast and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Though we don't need this much into the activation but we have used it here. And then we need the pizza so cheese or mozzarella cheese. We also need oil, here I have used olive oil and we need pizza sauce, if you can't find a pizza sauce you can use tomato ketchup instead and we need vegetables, I have used onions, capsicum and tomatoes, you can use any of the vegetables available at home or of your own choice like olives, mushrooms, whatever you want. So let's start. First of all we need to activate the yeast and for that we need to add 2 tablespoons of yeast into lukewarm water then we will add about a pinch of sugar and a pinch of salt you have to make sure that the water is lukewarm and not hot if your water is hot the yeast won't get activated so here you can see I'm adding salt into this lukewarm water and now we will mix it well after mixing it well we will cover it and place it in a dark and warm place for about 15 minutes and our yeast will get activated so here you are seeing that I am mixing it now I will cover this and keep it aside like I said in a warm place and a dark place away from light for 15 minutes to 20 minutes after 20 minutes let us check if our yeast is activated or not so after removing the lid you can see that some froth has formed at the top this is an indication that the yeast is activated if, the, if there is no froth that means there has been some mistake but since there is a froth so our yeast is activated we can start kneading the dough now first of all into this I am adding a tablespoon of olive oil adding oil into this kneading of the dough makes the dough smoother so after adding oil we will start kneading the dough and for that we will add all purpose flour or maida into it. Since I am making a medium sized pizza, I have added approximately 200 grams of maida or all purpose flour. If you want a small size pizza, you can make the base accordingly and add less amount of all purpose flour. We have to knead this properly and nicely. We don't want any lumps of flour in between. So we have to knead it really nicely. Here you can see that I am using some dry flour as well while kneading. You have to make a round ball out of it. That way this flour will raise nicely. And now we will cover it with a damp cloth and keep it aside for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes you can see that our flour has risen. And now we will make the make it into a shape of the base and then we will knead it again. So you can see that I have taken this out of this bowl and I will knead it again in the shape of the base, round shape. I am using my hands, not a rolling pin. You can use a rolling pin as well. But since this dough is... Uh, softer I can use my hands and it won't break so you can see that I am kneading it again after keeping it aside for 15 minutes and now I am giving it the shape of the base the round shape of the base of the pizza like I said you can use a rolling pin but I am using my hands so after forming a round base I will place this on a plate make sure that all the sides are equal 
so I have placed it on this plate and now I will again cover it with a damp cloth and keep it aside for 5 to 10 minutes and our dough will rise again. Now here you can see the dough has risen again and it is softer and now it's ready to be used as the base of the pizza. Now we will add the pizza sauce on its top. If you can't find a pizza sauce, you can use tomato ketchup at home. So after adding this pizza sauce, we will add grated mozzarella cheese on its top. Then we will add chopped capsicum you can add any of the vegetables of your own choice i'm adding a layer of chopped capsicum onions and then i'll add tomatoes i've chopped them or cut them into round pieces then i'm again adding the mozzarella cheese you got to add a lot of cheese to make it gooey and cheesy and now i'm adding vegetables again I've also added some oil on the edges of this base this way it cooks better and your, your base won't be raw our oven was already preheated for 10 minutes at 180 degree and now I have kept the setting at 200 and I will keep the timer for 20 minutes I have placed the pizza into it, the oven, and now we will wait until it's done. We can keep the setting from 180 to 20, 180 to 200 degree, and the timer is on 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, our pizza looks done, so you can eat it at home and enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share our video, like and comment.